Hi, I'm Hilary Talbot, acupuncture physician and clinical herbalist coming to you from St. Petersburg, Florida. Today we're going to discuss acupressure techniques for back pain. Now, there are many different areas of the back that can be affected, as well as many different patterns of disharmony leading to back pain, as well as structural imbalances. So it's important to consult your local acupuncturist to understand what the root cause of your pain is in order to get the best treatment possible. Today, we will be highlighting a couple points in the lower back, since that is a common area of pain for a lot of people. We will be finding what is known as the governing vessel or dew channel number four, as well as bladder 23. Now, to find these points that are located around the vertebrae lumbar two, you are going to reach under and ask the patient to just lift up so that you can find the belly button. Okay, and relax. And once you do that, you can trace your finger around and it usually puts you in the space just below L2. This is where dew 4 is located. So utilizing soft pressure in a clockwise motion to firm pressure with the back of your hand is oftentimes beneficial. Now, just lateral to dew 4 is bladder 23. And the bladder channel is found at the high point of the muscles on either side of the spine. These points can also be massaged and generally give great benefit to the patient who is experiencing back pain due to deficiency or overwork. Another technique that is very nice is what's called rolling in Chinese massage, which is also called Tui Na. And you're just going to use the knuckles of your hand and gently roll across the area. Again, there are many causes to back pain, from structural to energetic. So it's important to understand what the root cause of your imbalance is in order to get proper treatment, as well as acupressure points that are preventative for you and your case. So visit your local acupuncture physician, and if you don't know where to find one, visit acufinder.com.